can't get much more inspiring, I don't think, than actually w working at uh, Roald Dahl's house. Where is it, uh, the Gypsy House? <laughs> You're in Texas. I was so jet lagged. I remember. I remember hitting a point in my jet lag where I'd been up so long. There was like a point where I really felt like I was going to like pitch over. We were like we were working. We were writing the thing because we started immediately. I, I felt like while we were writing it, our goal was to sort of imagine what role Doll would have done. Mm -hmm. We often were saying this seems Doll like this seems like Doll. Remember we saw the the, uh, the manuscript. Uh, yeah, and then we, there were all this, there were all these unpublished things, and, and just even like lines of good line for a story. And then there was one that was so pornographic. Uh, you know, it's one thing that I think always appealed to me about the uh, about that character is not only that he does everything to rescue his family, and he's inventive in the way that he does it. He caused the he, he's the reason why they're in trouble in the first place. Right. Um, may you know, and that's a kind of uh, maybe a sort of unusual thing for a for a children's story. Maybe it's not. Something that you, maybe you could say is also true of Zisu and other protagonists uh, that, that, that we've either written together or seem drawn to uh, is that people whose virtues are also their, their downfall or, or, or their, that, that what they're good at is also uh, think of a good the worst thing way. about them. Right, exactly. Yes. Uh, yes. It's what, what attracts people to them is also what makes them dangerous in some way. Yes. With Zisu, we, get, uh, we actually get to see sort of versions of his work. And, and I think always sort of by, by animating the fish, we always, in some ways, that was as if Zisu had created it. I always thought of it that way. I mean, it was, yeah. it was a kind of Zisu fantasy. What was uh, good about Fox is that you could, what he does well is something you can actually depict dramatically. Yes. You can show him dig. Um, yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, Yes, the odd thing, I mean, the thing that we've added about his character is um, that he's a newspaper reporter. Well, yeah, because we did turn him into some kind of artist. Yes, we did, um, which I almost think was, you know, if we had allowed ourselves, we probably would have made him a, the author of children's books. Right. You know, that was probably the next step. Um, we, but, um, we were just stuck shy of being that cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In that instance, anyway. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, I'm sure we cross the line in other places.